What's up, guys, and welcome back to MK. My name is Damien, and let's turn up the flames because we're going back to r slash roast me. Autistic female community college student who is proud to sport a unibrow. I'm not scared of your roasts. And I've seen this girl pop up before, so I'm curious to see what all everyone had to say about her. She used to have two eyebrows, but she shaved the top one off. Classic, I've seen that pop around, and look at that, 6.9, 69, nice. What was it like discovering fire? Hot. I promise. We're more scared of you than you are of us. Hey, look at that, it's Mono Lisa. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? I angered the gods reading that one. <laughs> Where have you been living since Notre Dame burned down? You look like if Ed from Ed, Ed and Eddie was a female. How does someone with a unibrow so thick also have a receding hairline? Bro, the thunder is gnarly today. My lights keep flickering, bro. It's scaring me, bro. Bro, stop. You're scaring me. Actually, I had bangs before puberty hit, so I decided to grow them out and show my forehead more. You lost the only bangs you'll ever get. Oh! <laughs> I see why your parents fed you with a slingshot. Their aim must be amazing considering the fact that it must fit through the bars of her cage as well. That's a pretty wordy title. You could have just said, Hey you guys! <laughs> Community college. Good. Fire. Bad. 19 year old French aspiring sound engineer who overthinks every bit of criticism. Have fun. I've seen livelier expressions from a morgue. Sort of like a dead coke addict with a wig on. Also kind of sort of like Emily, but she went downhill and died of a heroin overdose. How is the sketch of you more appealing than the real you? The sketch plus her buyer are the most depressing one-two punch I've seen in some time. Huh, I guess Notre Dame is only the second worst thing to happen to France this year. Hey, don't feel too bad, at least Notre Dame can be fixed. <laughs> you look like a depressed time traveler from the 1940s. That sounds quite nice, actually. You look like you've been crying, have a cold, have no air conditioning, are slathered in Vaseline, and just started feeling the drainage at the back of your throat from whatever you've been snorting all week. You look like the female version of a dude who goes to open houses to steal women's underwear. The dude who still insists on getting his porn from the video store because the internet lacks that personal element. You look like the McPoyle brother who discovered Instagram. And someone put that through an uwu translator and you know I'm gonna read it. You look like you've been crying, have a cold, have no air conditioning, us, us <laughs> swatted in Vaseline, and just started feeling the drainage at the back of your throat from whatever you've been snorting all week. You look like the female version of a dude who goes to open houses to steal women's underwear. The dude who still insists on getting his porn from the video store because the internet whacks that personal element. <laughs> You look like the McPoyle brother who discovered Instagram. <laughs> Hair's like a Spanish conquistador from the 1700s. That's what I was going for, yeah. You succeeded. Listens to Joji but doesn't know Filthy Frank. Eh, kind of a miss. Amy Traphouse. <laughs> Holy crap, I'm keeping that name. Thank you. Keeping your armpits unshaven doesn't make you French. Oh, frick. Sound engineering's a great choice for you. You have a face perfect for radio. Felt cute. Might delete later, I don't know. Oh, bro. Alrighty, we got Fortnite in the background. Let's see how many comments we get about Fortnite. Who are you trying to contact with them antennas? He's dead. I would clown this man, but his barber already did. Mom? <laughs> <laughs> from one black guy to another, fix your hairline. I know you're trying to match your hairline shape to the shape of your eyebrows, but bro, you are embarrassing us. This one hurt the most. Hey look, it's Denzel Curry's autistic brother, Darius Paprika. <laughs> <laughs> I loved you in Good Burger! You look like you upload Fortnite highlights to a community of 25 subscribers. There it is, there's the Fortnite reference, got it! You look like a bacteria. He's that .01% the hand sanitizer couldn't get. You look like a goblin that lives in a fanny pack, stealing the weed of bad children who disobey their parents. A weed hobgoblin. You look like a budget version of ASAP Rocky. ASAP Pebble. <laughs> A-cent. ASAP, but it's a cent, I like that. Must feel odd holding a sign and not having to turn to the left for once. Oh my god. What's odd is I'm holding one without an empty hat. Do your worst. I am a doctor. I've seen everything. How horrible for your patients that the first thing they see after getting clear vision is your face. 
And he bold you to assume his patients would get a clear vision after he treats them. But Doc, why are you using a rag and a bottle of chloroform to dilate my eyes? Because I'm about to dilate something else. God. <laughs> your passable handwriting makes me seriously doubt your capabilities as a doctor. I actually had a technician write it for me because I can't write for crap. Seen everything except Bob's and Vagine. Or his wife's smile. <laughs> I bet you tell everyone on the phone your name is Bill. I've never seen this part of the convenience store. Hey, that's the only optometrist to pursue a 9-11 vision. Hi, I'm Dr. Abad, but my patients call me a bad doctor. <laughs> you look like you get a sadistic satisfaction from giving children eye drops. Can you blind me so I don't need to see you? Ever? Again? <laughs> it's ruthless on r slash roast me, dude. It's absolutely ruthless. Toast me, bro. Please avoid fat jokes unless they're original. I've heard them all. Roast me and she's holding it in her mouth. Ain't that cute. All right, let's read the roasts. Never asked a prom? Wears a prom dress for every outing to Walmart? <laughs> Looks like you were poured into your bra and forgot to say when. I bet your tits would be out of the picture if it wasn't for that bra. Please move to the middle of the trailer before it flips over. <laughs> you look like you've been cast as Ursula in China's knockout version of the Little Mermaid remake. I would genuinely want that role. I get that you clearly love grease, but you don't have to use it as a shampoo. You're disgusting the children. <laughs> You're the embodiment of a Walmart super set. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Cartman after the sex change. Okay, that's like a, that's a decent six. There should be a reality show where each week the FBI lifts a dirty fingerprint off your chest and then solves a cold case. <laughs> <laughs> CSI, suicide unit. Honey Moo Moo? Mm, I like that one. I'm moving to Italy in a month and scared out of my mind. Give me something to distract me. Okay, alright, got a couple of rings on, some glasses. Got Okay, if I'm gonna pick something to make fun of, I'm gonna say it's either the chin or the eyebrows. Amanda Knox off. Sorry, who's Amanda Knox? I don't get it. <laughs> ah, that's good. Oh, here's something on the eyebrows. Your eyebrows look like Italian mustache. Signora, I must ask you, who does your eyebrows? Don't bother learning Italian, just have people read the braille on your forehead. Wash me. <laughs> it's very faint, but I see what they're talking about. I didn't even notice that the first round around Jesus. Hey, bite your nails a little more, would you? Maybe that'll distract you. Oof, that one hit deep, man. How many days have you been awake? <laughs> Too many, my dude. Italy should be scared. Not you. If I was Liam Neeson, I wouldn't come searching for you. Neither would the kidnappers. Looks like your forehead's made of sandpaper. Ow! That's rough. Yeah, it's sandpaper. By Italy, you clearly mean Olive Garden. <laughs> Moving to Italy. You mean studying in a safe, easy program where you won't actually have to deal with living too Italian while contributing to the stereotype that American women are easy? Is that a, I don't think that's a roast. That was mean-spirited, genuinely. <laughs> that wasn't good-natured at all. I can only assume this is some part of a zoo exchange program, like how the China gifted the U.S. some pandas. Now the U.S. is gifting Italy a rare breed of chimpanzee. <laughs> My GF broke up with me last night and I feel nothing. Now I need to be put down by you good people. Bro, your hair, it's coming out. The hairline's going down first. There it is, first post. Are you wearing a wig made of her drain hair or something? Generally, the eggs goes on top of the ramen, not the other way around. You didn't know, it's okay. Question about the pubes glued to your head. Is that from just one person or did you have to collect them from multiple sources? Yo, for real man, your hair looks really bad. Like, god awful. I'm not even roasting you right now, I'm letting you know man to man, you really need to fix your hair. At least shave your head. They'll look better than the broccoli cutout you got going on now. If it makes you feel any better, she didn't feel anything either. Ah, I see Scott Tennerman tricked you into buying his pubes again. <laughs> the fact that you managed to get a girlfriend looking like that is a great confidence boost. You look like Sid from Ice Age, and I imagine if I heard your voice it would give me a yeast infection. Hey, maybe she'd take you back if you took the dead squirrel off your head. Not Jerry, he's my friend. With a haircut like that, I don't blame him. It was like all about his hair. My dude's <laughs> Every single one is about my poor guy's hair. <laughs> I grew my hair out for two years for this moment. Don't let me down. Another one about hair, let's go. He's got a pimple right in the middle of his forehead. You see that? Slum dog, <laughs> Slum dog million hairs, nice. Your hair reminds me of Rapunzel. Except with you, you're not just letting your hair down, you're letting your friends and loved ones down as well. Thanks, Rapunzel. You look like you steal scrap metal and iron for a living. <laughs> 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 
We're at all Yankasing. If Jack Sparrow was from Bangladesh, get a load of this guy. How much longer are you planning on not getting laid? You act like I have a choice in the matter. <laughs> His name is the Gangladesh. I love that. When you go to the airport, all the TSA agents get aroused. Aroused like sexually? Doubtful. The only fingering the agents will be doing is frantically fingering the 911 button at their desk. You wasted two years. Hey, my mom says I wasted 21 just being alive. Don't worry, bud. <laughs> nice hair, but we still hate you for what you did to a lot. <laughs> A hey, good thing arranged marriage is your fate. Those packed some punches, those are zingers, but that brings us to the end of our slash roast me. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below and subscribe for more content from MK. Just come on now. Come on. Come on. I wonder uh, if it'd be funny to put my own picture on roast me and then do a video on that. How would that go? You think that'd be funny? <laughs> <laughs> and as always, I'll be seeing you.